I have an 11 year old to live for, that's my number one priority. Donna Brown's number one priority for living is Justin, her son. This is Justin at the hospital with Minnie Mouse. But Donna might not get to see him grow up because she suffers from leukemia, a blood cancer. This is Justin, again. Many people die of this disease even after chemotherapy because their disease learns how to hide from the immune system. Now, University of Florida researchers have found a way to treat blood cancers using stem cells from donors who are not perfect matches with their family members, a process known as haplomatching. Unfortunately, a lot of patients do not have a good match. So with smaller family sizes, it's harder to find a brother or sister that's a good stem cell match. For that reason, we've developed a way that we can use other family members, like your parents or children, that could be the stem cell donor for a transplant. UF researchers are coaxing stem cells from half-matched family members to work inside Donna's blood. Well, I lost my father to cancer. He died in my arms. And I didn't want to lose my sister to anything. You know, I wanted to do something myself. So by me being able to donate my blood, my um, bone marrow to her, you know, it, it works out great. Researchers will try to determine if this combination of stem cells will build a stronger immune system in Donna that will destroy blood cancer cells while sparing healthy cells. Donna hopes this new treatment will be successful. Her son Justin suffers from the same blood cancer. He may one day need the same treatment for survival. At the University of Florida, I'm Chris Bilowich.